Please be seated. Good evening and welcome to the graduation ceremony of Class Downingtown 130. We thank you for joining us this evening. My name is Beth Ann Puckett and I'm the director of the practical nursing program here at the Chester County Intermediate Unit. Class Downingtown 130 started level one back in November of 2022 and I was able to watch the class grow and continue their success in each level until they got to this special day. I am thrilled to have met each and every one of them and be part of their journey as they reach their goals. I remember the first day I met class down in town 130. They all looked excited and nervous to be starting their journey as nurses and were eager to learn. They were an extremely quiet class when they first started, but over time they came out of their shells and they grew and I got to know each and every one of them and am truly proud to see them make it to their final graduation day. Class Downingtown 130, you did it. All of your hard work, dedication, and determination kept you focused and got you to this very special day. I am so proud of all of you and congratulate you on your accomplishments. I would now like to introduce Dr. Joseph Fullerton, the Director of Career Technical Customized Education. Thank you, Mrs. Puckett, and good evening, everyone, and welcome to this fantastic celebration. I have no idea what I'm about to say to any of you. <laughs> so I'm going to start with the staff. You guys undertook a group of young people 15 months ago that looked scared, petrified, and had no idea what they were in for. And they still might not. But what they are is prepared to be nurses. And we thank you for that. We thank you for your hard work and dedication because they don't have the look of bewilderment on their face anymore. But what they have are smiles of accomplishment. And what their families have are smiles of pride. And you helped accomplish that. Please join me in congratulating this group of educators. And to this class, Mrs. Puckett said she saw you grow. Yes, you have. And for that, you should be proud. You should be proud of the tears that you shed. You should be proud of the laughs that you had. And some of you might even be proud of the attendance time that you left on the table. <laughs> and the reason you should be proud of that is you showed a level of dedication that should drive you each forward as you begin your careers. Some of you came to school right away after completing high school. Some of you took a break. Some of you have families of your own now. You are an inspiration. And today should be a celebration for each of you. And to you, parents, family, friends, you should smile too. Because now they will never have to study for a pharmacology test again. <laughs> but you endured as well. 15 months doesn't seem like a long time. But November of 2022 seemed like ages ago. And this night is for you because we are proud as the practical nursing program in the Chester County Intermediate Unit to have you here tonight to celebrate your family member, your friend, and their wonderful accomplishment. Thank you for being here. Thank you for trusting us with them. And we wish you and them all the best. Thank you.
Thank you, Dr. Fullerton. Graduates, please stand. Upon achievement of program requirements, these graduates have successfully completed a Pennsylvania State Board of Nursing approved and ASIN accredited practical nursing program. It is with great pride that I present to you the 130th full-time Downingtown class of the Chester County Intermediate Unit Practical Nursing Program. Please be seated. I now would like to welcome Class Downingtown 130's president, Tiana Singletary, to present the guest speaker. Anna's journey in nursing is one of dedication and growth. Starting as a home health care aide, she pursued her nursing degree at Westchester University. She graduated with a Bachelor's of Science in Nursing in 1997. After graduation, she transitioned to a night shift position at Town Manor West in Norristown. Recognized for her skills, she quickly advanced to shift supervisor. Deciding to further her education, Anna became a staff development coordinator, discovering her passion teaching, for teaching alongside nursing. She later earned her Master's of, nursing in, of Science in Nursing as a clinical nurse specialist educator from Widener University in 2002, and continued to excel in various roles at Britton Manor and Glen Mills and St. Martha Manor in Downingtown. Anna functioned in various roles in independent living, assisted living, long-term care, subacute rehabilitation, nursing education, and nurse management. Some of these roles include staff nurse, shift, staff nurse, shift supervisor, weekend program supervisor, unit manager, staff development coordinator, infection preventionist, assistant DON, director of education, nurse aid instructor, CPR and first aid instructor, and assistant clinical reimbursements coordinator. As a mother of three, Anna balanced her career with family life. Her commitment, le commitment led her to become a hospice nurse at Bayada Hospice in 2017. End of life care is also one of her passions and specialties. She worked as both a case manager and clinical manager assisting dying patients and their families throughout Chester, Delaware, and Philadelphia counties. After several years at the bedside, Anna returned to her passion for education, joining the CCIU PMP program as an instructor in August of 2022. Outside of work, Anna enjoys outdoor activities like hiking, fishing, gardening, and bird watching, finding solace in nature and family time. Please join me and welcome Ms. Anna Richards to the stage. Um, good evening, esteemed faculty, family, and friends, and most importantly, the incredible graduates of our nursing program. <laughs> it is with great pleasure and honor that I stand before you today as the guest speaker for this momentous occasion. Each of you has shown remarkable initiative, determination, perseverance and resilience through your nursing education and it is truly a privilege to witness your journey to this point. Nursing is undoubtedly a challenging field and it takes a special kind of person to thrive in it. You have all proven yourselves not only capable but truly exceptional. Reflecting on our time together I remember the mix of excitement, fear, and uncertainty that marked your beginnings in nursing school. From the rigorous days of lectures, skills testing, clinicals and exams, to the endless nights of studying, you have faced numerous challenges head on. Balancing your academic pursuits with work, family responsibilities, and personal time required immense dedication. Yet amidst it all, I've witnessed moments of triumph and joy. 
the elation as exam scores appeared on your laptops, the relief after mastering a challenging nursing skill, and the personal satisfaction derives from, educate, from advocating for a patient's needs. This graduating class is not merely a collection of individuals. You are fighters. You have encountered countless obstacles along your journey, yet you have persisted with unwavering determination. Your passion, strength, and courage serve as an inspiration, and I have no doubt that these qualities will continue to guide you as you embark on your nursing careers. What sets this group apart is your sense of camaraderie and teamwork. Throughout your education, you have supported and uplifted each other, creating a community of like-minded individuals dedicated to their craft. These bonds you formed will be invaluable as you navigate the challenges of the nursing profession, and I encourage you to lean on one another for support. I've also noticed your remarkable ability to use humor as a coping mechanism. Nursing can be emotionally and mentally taxing, and your capacity to find lividity in difficult situations speaks volumes about your resilience. I urge you to hold on to this ability as finding moments of joy and humor will not only benefit you, but also your patients. As you embark on your nursing careers, I want to remind you of the importance of remembering your why. Reflect on the reasons that led you to pursue nursing and the driving force behind your perseverance. Whether it's a personal passion for helping others, a desire to make a difference, or a commitment to the nursing profession, hold on to that purpose and let it guide you in your journey. Furthermore, I challenge you to be agents of change within our profession. You have the opportunity to shape the future of nursing through your actions and attitudes. Always strive to provide skilled and compassionate care and never underestimate the impact of your work on those you serve. Lastly, I emphasize the importance of self-care. As caregivers, it's easy to prioritize the needs of others above our own, but remember that taking care of yourself is essential for providing quality care to others. Nurture your physical, emotional, and mental well-being and don't hesitate to ask and seek support when needed. In closing, we are immensely proud of each and every one of you. Your academic achievements are commendable, but it's your demonstration of qualities such as empathy, resilience, and dedication that truly make you exceptional nurses. As we look at this graduating class, we see not esteemed graduates, but future leaders, innovators, and caregivers. Congratulations on your graduation. We eagerly anticipate the profound impact you will make in the nursing profession. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for those inspiring words, Mrs. Richards. I would now like to introduce the Class Downingtown 130 Awards for Valedictorian and Salutatorian. The Salutatorian. This student was excellent academically and showed hard work and determination throughout the program. She is kind, compassionate, and a team player. It is these great qualities this student possesses that led her to the person she is today. I have no doubt that she will make a great nurse, and I am excited to see where the future takes her. It is my extreme honor to recognize this year's salutatorian, Brittany Trayband.
the valedictorian. This particular student is known as the mom and has a hard work ethic and is very strong academically. She was always kind, caring, and thoughtful towards her classmates and patients. She is eager to learn and always offered to help others. She currently works as a nursing assistant at Bryn Mawr Rehab and enjoys working with patients. She will make an amazing nurse and I am excited to see where the future takes her. It is my extreme honor to recognize and award this year's valedictorian to Kimberly Burnow. Good evening. Since I was known among us as the mom, I would like to start by saying congratulations to all of my fellow children. I'm so <laughs> proud of all of you. We started off as what all the professors referred to us as, the quiet class, and we grew into our own little family. We looked out for each other, encouraged each other, and always made sure to let each other know what score we got on our tests. I will miss so many things about each of you. <laughs> These last 15 months have definitely been a roller coaster of times. We've had lots of laughs, great talks, and even tears, and yet despite it all, we made it through together, and here we are today. I wish you all the best in your future endeavors. To all the families and friends that came out tonight to join us for this special ceremony, You've all played a part in supporting your loved one while they made this journey, and I know there were times you probably wanted to run the other way. Full-time adult college students are not always the easiest to deal with, particularly when cramming for tests, trying to complete a week's worth of assignments in a 24-hour period, or just downright exhausted from working a long shift and then still have to attend class and clinical. Your support is greatly appreciated by all, and we thank you all so much. To our professors. Classes, clinicals, and labs would not have been as interesting and fun without each and every one of you. You have all contributed in a unique way to make our experience what it was. Now when I say this though, I'm referring to the following. Mrs. Richards and Mrs. Berkman, from pretty much day one, you guys had us doing poster boards together, forcing us to interact with each other and step out of our comfort zones. We were like toddlers with training wheels on and you turned us into butterflies. For that, we thank you. Mrs. Hotchkiss, what can we say about you? Well, you are definitely one of a kind. We loved your impromptu crochet lessons, and there were never enough food discussions. Thank you. Mrs. Rogers, you always had the most unique and best stories to help us relate our material to real life. And you always had such a way of letting us know you were not the one to be messed with. <laughs> Thank you. Mrs. Waltz, we know we drove you nuts with our persistent can we leave early from clinicals in class, particularly clinicals. And yet, you always took it with a smile and a chuckle and kept right on moving. Thank you. Mrs. Freebert and Mrs. Unruh, playing the voices of the mannequins while we had to do our skills, always put a smile on our faces. Thank you. And Mrs. Puckett, we can only imagine the challenges you face running a program such as this. Heck, the countless reminder emails alone that you have to send out would be enough to make someone run the other way. And yet, you've always made yourself available to every student. And we thank you. The support, guidance, and encouragement you all provided to each one of us is more appreciated than you will ever know and will never be forgotten. And finally, as quoted by Ralph Waldo Emerson, to know even one life has breathed easier because you have lived, this is to have succeeded. Thank you very much. Congratulations, Class 130. <laughs> Thank you, Kimberly. 
I now would like to welcome the class president, Tiana Singletary, to the stage to lead her class in the Practical Nurses Pledge. Graduates, please stand. I sincerely pledge myself to dedicate my life to the delivery of health care, to maintain high standards of personal ethics, and to advance the knowledge of my profession. I will endeavor to conserve life, alleviate suffering, and promote health. I will be an advocate to those in need and provide for the well-being of those in my care without prejudice. I will not use my knowledge, contrary to the laws of humanity, neither will I disclose any personal matters entrusted to me. With integrity, I will practice my vocation as a responsible member of the healthcare profession. I will follow these precepts and guard them secretly. Thank you, Tiana. You may be seated. I now would like to invite the other class officers from class Downingtown 130 and class PT12 to join Tiana on the stage as I call their names. Class Down Downingtown 130 officers, Vice President Alex Impriano, Secretary Brittany Trayvan, Treasurer Anita Abbey, and resource Kimberly Berna. <laughs> President of Class PT12, Melissa Holm. Vice President, Melissa Hoffman. Secretary, Jamie Treadway. Treasurer, Audrey Smith. And resource, Deanna Tiernan. The Nightingale Lamp. During the Crimean War, Florence Nightingale gained the nickname the Lady with the Lamp, deriving from a phrase in a report in the London Times which described her as a ministering angel whose slender form glides quietly along each corridor. She may be observed alone with a little lamp in her hand, making her solitary rounds, caring for the sick and wounded soldiers. Within six months of her arrival in Scutari, the mortality rate dropped from 42.7% to 2.2%. Florence insisted on adequate lighting, diet, hygiene, and activity. She was well ahead of her time. She understood even then that the main mind and body work together, that cleanliness helped to prevent infection, and that it promoted healing. As a symbol of unity and of caring in the nursing profession, our graduating class officers will pass the lamp to the officers of Class PT-12 Level 4, our next graduating class, reminding them in our high-tech healthcare world not to lose sight of the caring component of nursing. You may now pass the lamps. Thank you for exchanging the lamps and continuing our tradition of caring and compassion. You may exit the stage. I now would like to take a moment to acknowledge our practical nursing staff and faculty. These hardworking individuals dedicate a lot of time and have impacted each of these students' lives while in the program. Faculty and staff, please stand when I call your name to be acknowledged. Teresa Berkman, Holly Brown, Julia Freevert, Sheree Fulton, Gigi Hayes, Lisa Hotchkiss, Leslie James, Anna Richards, Talonda Rogers, Dan Schultz, Maria Schultz, Lauren Unruh, Leslie Waltz, and Karen Warren. 
This team is what makes our program so special. Their experience, dedication, and hard work to meet the students' needs on a daily basis is outstanding. I thank you all for contributing and making our program so amazing. As I share often with the students and graduates, we are most thankful to have met each of them. Our life has changed as teachers, and the class teaches us some life lessons. And in the end, we are better teachers and better people because of meeting all of you. So thank you. <laughs> Attaining academic excellence in such a rigorous program is commendable. I now would like to recognize gradu graduates who met the academic requirements for the National Association of Licensed Practical Nurses Honor Society. These graduates who have demonstrated and achieved this honor are wearing gray and burgundy cords this evening. Will the following students please stand and remain standing to be recognized? Kimberly Berno, Alex Impriano, Tiana Singletary, Brittany Trayband, and Georgia Tway. You may be seated. Recognition of our PMP ambassador. PMP ambassadors represent the practical nursing program at school or community events, volunteering their own time above and beyond school hours. These students volunteered their time at open houses, fall festivals, college fairs, and helped recruit future practical nursing students. Will the following students please stand and remain standing to be recognized? Luz Garcia, Marie Katia Uemahara. You may be seated. And now, the moment you have all been waiting for, the awarding of the diplomas. Each student received a school pin. Every school has a distinct pin which easily identifies the graduates to their fellow alumni and is a source of pride. We always wear our school pins over our heart. Graduates, please stand and as I call your name, please come up to receive your diploma. Tiana Singletary. Anita Abbey. Kimberly Burno. Brittany Trayban. Katia Iwamaharo. Zaira Dodson King.
Georgia Tway. Alex Impriano. And Luz Garcia. As we bring the ceremony to a close, I ask that all remain in the seats until the graduates are arranged on the stage for a photo. I would like to extend thanks to our CCIU administration, communications team, maintenance, and horticultural departments for all of your help this evening and throughout the program. And I especially want to thank all of you for joining us as our guests here this evening. To conclude, our ceremony. Please welcome me with the graduates and move your tassel from right to left. And I now present to you our newest nursing colleagues, the graduates of Class Downingtown 130. Thank you for attending and you may go be with your families.